Okay, in this question, we're being asked to work out a mass, CH3 and H3CL. Uh, That's going to be added to a, a 1 litre solution of magnesium nitrate and methylamine in order to prevent a precipitate of magnesium hydroxide. Now, sometimes in questions, it's hard to know even where to get started. And often writing down the expression or an expression that you realize must be important is a good way to get your thinking going. Now, if we're talking about the precipitation of magnesium hydroxide, then the expression for that, um, the Ks expression, is going to be important. We're given information in regards to that. So let's do that first and see if that helps us. Okay, now I've written that down. Now, obviously, um, the Ks um, we have from here, the magnesium um, ion concentration here, comes from here, we've been given that, so that's just going to go in there. And because we have now two values, we can actually work out what the hydroxide ion concentration would be, and that would tell us automatically what the H3O plus ion concentration must be as well. So we get two bits of information from that as well. So let's go and do that next. Mm -hmm. So if we go ahead and do that calculation, what we find is that um, we get a hydroxide ion concentration equal to 1.22 times 10 to the negative 5. And if we then divide that into 1 times 10 to the negative uh, 14, we can also uh, work out what the uh, hydrogen ion concentration is, and that's going to be H3O plus equals 8 point, well it's 8.196 but that's approximately 8.2 times 10 to the negative 10 moles per litre. And that's just based on obviously that 1 times 10 to the negative 14 kW is equal to um, the H plus or the H3O plus, I'll sorry, do that as, times by the um, OH minus. Okay, so we now have the hydrogen ion concentration. Now what that does set up to us is we uh, now have certain pieces of information. We've got the pKa, which obviously means we also have the Ka. We have a um, H3O plus concentration. We have a CH3 NH2 concentration. And that means we can work out from that if we use the Ka expression, we can work out the concentration of CHNH3. And once we work out a concentration, it's fairly straightforward to turn that into a mass. Okay, so if we write the Ka exp um, expression for this equation, which is going to be CH3 and H2 times, oops, it's supposed to be H3O plus, um, over CH3 and H3 plus, then what we find is we end up, and obviously we can put in the Ka there, we're really looking to find out what CH3 and H3 plus is, and we work that out to be 3.27 moles per litre. Well, if that's how many moles there are in one litre, and we are talking about one litre, and we know that it's 67.5 grams per mole, we just have to multiply that out, and we get 221 grams. Okay, so that's that question there. So it is helpful to write out expressions first and see what other expression we need to finally work that out. Okay, and that's that question done.